Welcome to our channel. This is the third episode of uh, Streamlit. If you want to see my previous episodes on Streamlit, click on the above link to watch it. In this video, we are going to see how to build the Polyam Choropleth maps for India with the state boundaries that are derived from GeoJSON file. I will also show you how to build a Choropleth map to differentiate uh, Indian states based on the higher number of coronavirus cases, higher number of active cases, cured cases as well as death cases. In this, I have used a special library called Folium, which helps to build beautiful maps. I will put the GitHub code link in the description as well as the data. So you can also copy paste and explore more on the code. Just uh, let me create a um, streamlit example 2.py. In this, I'm going to use this uh, CSV file. So as you can see, there is a state code column and this is the state name. As you can see, there are a lot of states uh, here and uh, the confirmed cases, active cases, cured or discharged cases, as well as the death cases for each and every state. This video is recorded on uh, 22nd April 2021. So as of today, that is uh, 22 for 2021. Uh, these are the number of uh, cases for each and every uh, state. I'm just using a static CSV file. If you want to use um, a dynamic CSV real time data for each and every new dates, I'll put the link in the description so that you can just uh, take the data in real time to have up to date information of the number of coronavirus cases. Uh, so in this, I'm going to use this uh, GeoJSON file, which has the polygons for each and every state, which actually creates a boundary between the states. So in this, the main uh, column, the first thing is state code, so which has a um, code for a particular state as well as the state name, st underscore nm. So these are the two columns that we are going to use in the GeoJSON file to create the uh, polygons. So as usual, we need a uh, streamlit library so i'm going to set the streamlit page to wide so this has an option to have a layout wide layout as i said i'm going to use json uh, which is i'm just going to read this file which is states underscore so this is the json file i'm going to use states underscore india dot geo json So we need a base map for uh, creating a folium map. So for that, I'm just going to use folium map. So for this, we need a folium library. So there is a map function. And in this, you can pass the location. So I'm just passing the center of uh, India latitude and longitude, which is uh, Madhya Pradesh. So the Madhya Pradesh latitude and longitude is roughly 23 point. Uh, Four seven and seventy point nine four. So this is actually going to focus on center of India, um, and you can also add tiles. So to DB. So this is uh, uh, tiles. There are different styles available. I'm I'm just going to use car to DB, positron, and you can just give a name. And we are going to start with a zoom level 5, zoom start 5 and an attribution, usually it is my data attribution. So in this I will be having a variable which is COVID, India COVID and I am just going to read the data, the CSV files where we have the uh, confirmed active and death, death and uh, cured cases, which is this uh, CSV file. I'm just going to copy this one, and that's the name of the file. I'm just going to read and put that in the Pandas data frame. So, for this, I have COVID data. For this, I need Pandas library as well. So, Pandas import Pandas as ED. So I'm going to uh, use the Pandas library to read the CSV file, which is India. So 
after having this data frame we are just going to ask the choices so in this uh, these are the choices that we have we have confirmed cases active cases cured and death cases so based on the choice you can able to uh, update the map we are going to get so we have already used a selection uh, select box in streamlit for this we need uh, choices first is confirmed cases and the second is active cases and third one is cured cases and the fourth one is death cases so after giving uh, these four choices we are going to ask the user to select one which is saved in the a variable called choice selected we are we have already seen how to use a select box so in this we are just going to select the choice and going to pick the user selected choice so after uh, clicking on this after getting the user choice we are going to display the choropleth Coro map so in folium there is another function called choropleth which actually takes the geojson data which is geodata so obviously we are going to use this file which is a geojson file helps to create the polygons for each and every state this map is a choropleth map so we are naming it as choropleth and that is the data and this we have we are going to take this data frame which is a uh, india covid data so after getting that we need to pick the columns from the data frame so what are the columns that we are going to use we are just going to use the we are just going to use this column which is state underscore co co and also what is the choice the user has selected whether he has selected confirmed cases or active cases, cure cases or death cases. So once we select the columns, we are just going to link the GeoJSON file with the polygons. So here we are going to have a feature. So this is basically a um, uh, GeoJSON uh, value, GeoJSON column value. So as you can see, this is the geojson file that we have and we have a feature we have feature and in feature we have uh, properties for each and every uh, each and every state so we are going to have a feature and properties for example we are particularly interested in the state code so this is the value that we are going to have as a key So after which we can fill with the choropleth uh, code, color code. So one of the color code that is available is yellow, orange and red. So we can also fill the opacity with for example 0.7 and also we have a line opacity as 0.1 and we can also have a legend name to what is the color that it is referring to. For example, choice uh, selected. What is the choice selected so this will give an idea about the graph itself what uh, uh, what is the choice the user has selected so we are just going to add this folium to the base map which is m so after this we can have the folium features and we can also have a pop-up here geojson and we are just going to pick the state India uh, geojson file and also name for it and you can just use you can just use this and we can also have pop-up dot features dot geojson pop up where 
we are specifically uh, going to display the state name so again this pop up will also be added to the map using add to function under the uh, base map so after this we can just use folium static for this we need another uh, particular library from streamlit folium so to display the folium map in streamlit we need another library called streamlit underscore folium we are going to import folium static so we are going to use this one to display the folium map in the streamlit folium static and we are going to display the map that we have and for this we can set up with for example 1600 would be appropriate as well as we can set a height so i'm just going to give 950 for this okay that's all so this is going to get so as i told we need uh, to have a page wider page and we are just going to use st uh, states underscore data dot geojson file and we need a base map you um, for this we have used the folium library folium library and the location is uh, the center of india uh, india's latitude and longitude which is approximately the center of uh, madhya pradesh and we have a tiles we can have any tiles i'm just going to use a lighter style tiles um and zoom uh, level zoom is starting at five and just you uh, i have given the attribution to to get the confirmed case and total number of confirmed cases so again we need to read the covid uh, cases india csv file which has a uh, uh, number of coronavirus cases active and cured and death cases so after this we use we used pandas library to read the csv file as well as uh, convert that into a pandas data frame and we have four choices here uh, confirmed cases active cases cured and death cases based on the user will be selecting one choice this and we are going to display the core of it so in this we have a geojs on our data and uh, name is core of it and we are going to use this data frame which is india code uh, data and we are going to have this column which is a uh, state underscore code and the choice selected and we have a key on state underscore code code we are going to fill the color using uh, yellow orange and red and there is a fill opacity as well as a line opacity and we have a legend uh, to see what choice has been selected and everything is added to the map again we need to have uh, the polygons for this we need a um, um, geojson file and we have a states and we have a pop-up displaying the state name which is again added to the map and uh, folium static so we are just passing the map inside folium static uh, method and we can also set the properties uh, uh, including the width and the height so with this i have set 1600 and the height is uh, 950 so let's uh, run this file in the run map show it in school example 2 dot file so this is the indian map with all the polygons so as you can see it has a um, state boundary when you click on a particular state it shows the state name this is the way to around it as you can see you can now select one of the four choices so it has now displayed the confirmed cases so as you can see this maharashtra has higher number of cases compared to all other states and uh, uttar pradesh um, tamil nadu andhra pradesh uh, karnataka and kerala are having a um, higher number of cases as well and all other states are having a less number of cases compared to Maharashtra as well as Andhra, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala and Uttar Pradesh. So this particular uh, polygons are made from the GeoJSON file. You can just click on it to see what is the state name and what is the intensity of uh, coronavirus cases. Similarly, the user can uh, select active cases. So you can see the uh, highest number of active cases. So we can also display the cured or discharge cases based on the state. This is the cured or dis uh, discharge cases. Let's see the death cases. So number of uh, death cases is also higher from Maharashtra.
I hope uh, you have seen how to create a folio map as well as the coroplet um, and uh, have seen uh, the Indian uh, states with boundaries and also have uh, seen how to create a coroplet map uh, with the highest number of uh, coronavirus cases uh, for the Indian states. Um, so we can uh, use the same GeoJSON file uh, to create the base map and uh, on top of it we can have um, different kind of um, exploration data uh, visualization for example population by states as well as um, age by state and also income by state so we can explore we can do a lot of stuff on this uh, base map and the polygons for all of this i will put the code in the description in the next video we are going to see how to deploy a streamlit application on our free heroku uh, cloud service if you have liked this video give a thumbs up if you have any comments write it in the comment section see you in the next video